friends welcome back to my channel i am ami and today i'm going to draw a token bird and i'm using watercolor painting here so here i am drawing the main portion that is the face portion of this bird and i'm sketching the upper part that is like a wings type part and now i'm going to draw the beaks so actually if you are a beginner so i am telling you that you should take a proper measurement of these sculpture so i've drawn the bird face portion of this bird and now i'm detailing it so have you if you are a beginner actually i am also a beginner so if you are a beginner so always give detailings to your drawing as it give a proper perfection to it so now i have drawn the face portion now now i'm giving some more detailing so that it will look beautiful so here I am drawing the more detail. Now I am detailing in that wing like portion and I am giving a beautiful shape so that it will look beautiful. So now I have actually done. Now what I am going to do is I am going to outline it and then I am going to draw the abdomen portion of this part. So here I have taken the measurements and now I am joining all of that. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to draw the tail part of this bird. So here I have drawn the tail part and always take a prop. See now I am doing the upper feathers of this bird. So I have given a proper feather and now I have done it. So now I am what I am thinking that I will color it now. So here is my palette and now I am going to color it. So it is uh, and dom I have combined it with it is a dom's band color. So now I am going to draw. So I have taken the colors. Now I am going to do the face portion of this bird. That is black actually. It's a token bird, so that's why it is black. So now I am coloring it. I am giving all the the. So uh, now I am giving. So here I have done the uh, face portion. So I am telling that uh, in watercolor painting, don't take unlimited water because what happened actually when you take water, the water spill it in the paper and it got rough. So that's why I am telling that don't take uh, unlimited water because I am also having a sister and her when she also paint, then what happened that full paper gets split. So now what I'm going to do, I'm give. So here I have detailed it. Now I'm telling you a main part that uh, the brush are the most important part in this painting because you can see I'm uh, lightly I'm changing all the type of brush and I'm using all the type of brush when I'm thinking that this type of brush could be used. So I'm uh, using that type of brush. So. And you could also see that I am always using tissue. It's a tissue. Uh, I'm always using tissue because when uh, it gets split, so I'm using tissue so that it will not get rough and the tissue soak uh, soak all the water. So uh, my painting doesn't spill. So now I am uh, painting the horn-like structure on her head, and now I'm detailing the parts. So here you can see that I'm detailing with very lightly color. Now I'm going to draw the downer portion means the abdomen person portion of this bird. So first I have given the light dark uh, sculpture and now I am giving black to detail it. Now what I am going to do is now I am trying to mix it so that it will become beautiful and it will see that it will become blended. So now I have done it. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to color the beak portion of this bird. So in this token bird beak is always uh, orange color. So I am going to do it with orange color. And now I am highlighting some of the past parts. And now let's get started. Now I am outlining the feather portion of this bird. And I am giving a shadow to this painting. Now I am at the down part I am going to do dark it's going to be light gray color and now I am outlining some major parts of this bird 
that are the feathers and now i am blending it so it is going to be very easy to do this as you can see the process is being very easy and i am using my thumb also so you can also use this could be a very major it will be a beginner painting now what i'm doing i'm highlighting the light gray portion so now i have take some white color and now i have done the portion so here i have done some of the parts like you can see here and now what i'm going to do is i'm taking some colors and i'm thinking to draw the downer means tail portion of this bird so i have been get started now what i'm going to do is i am highlighting the whole part and now i am outlining the whole part with black color and here you can see that i'm outlining and in that i am giving some main feather like structure in that and you can see at the abdomen area also at the down part you can see there also i have given some sculpture there so it's also my beginning so you could start like that so here i now i have started outlining the bird portion i have started with the eye portion also and i have done that now what i am going to do is i am uh, outlining the branch in which the bird is sitting and i am get started with that so here are i am drawing some branches with my brush and here i am what i am doing i am using black uh, i am washing my brush and now what i am going to do is i am taking green color and then placing it lightly so that it could give a leaf structure in this so here i have get started so you can see how nicely the leaf are being on form and it is looking very beautiful to draw it so i am giving in every part of this branch i am giving very light shades of these leaves and here you can see so it's very easy now i am using this flat brush it's a type of brush and now i am using it to play like a tree so here i am using this brush this brush is actually very helpful to draw trees as you can see it helped me a lot and this uh, brush is also known as fan brush and this is very easy to draw these so here i have done so now i am tapping this earbuds to draw this flowers and it's a very beautiful painting